Good afternoon and welcome to our Hong Kong offices. Today I wanted to talk to you on this amazing auction, the Hermione Collection. Probably the best French stamp auction to come to the market since our Lafayette auction in 2003, 15 years ago almost to the day, um, for, for which we still hold a record for a French stamp. We've sold a one franc vermilion in a block of four with a tête bêche for 925,000 euros. This auction is very different, but it is to France semi-modern, the period you know, going from 1900 to 1950. It's exactly to the semi-modern what Lafayette was to the classic, the absolute reference. This Hermione collection has been built over 70 years by a very dedicated collector who had a fantastic eye for quality. The first auction consists of 1,250 lots, which are all absolutely exceptional and focusing on varieties of French stamps. The first catalogue will cover the classic section. Even though the forte of the collection is really in the semi-modern section, this classic uh, group has some fantastic pieces. For example, it has a beautiful one franc vermilion cover with a Ceres, the insurance company Ceres, um, a red hand stamp which makes the cover beautiful. There is um, a five franc on cover, alone on cover, extremely rare. We also have a first day of usage of a five franc empire on cover. Uh, both these covers are extreme rarities. There is also an amazing selection of uh, the type Sage uh, of France, including probably the best uh, one, uh, one cent Bleu de Prusse, a fantastic marginal piece with a Croix de Repair, uh, definitely the best uh, Bleu de Prusse in existence. The second catalogue will be covering the Blanc, Mouchon, Mer Merson issues, which are very popular. Uh, the type blank is replete with amazing and spectacular, spectacular varieties. Uh, it contains, for example, a block of 30 inverted surcharge, the half cents on one cent um, uh, gray, with part of a sheet without surcharge. Uh, that piece had not, had not been seen in the market since the Arfila exhibition in 1975. The, the Mouchon, uh, the Mouchon also contains amazing pieces, very always beautiful, always very striking. As you know, the Type 1 of the Mouchon was printed in two run um, on, the, on the printing presses and the, the value was printed on the second passage on the print press. Um, we have some varieties where without the um, without the, uh, the value in the cartridge, which is due to a fold of a sheet, these are amazingly beautiful to watch and extremely rare. Um, and this is just a few varieties among many uh, in the Mouchon. Moving to the Merson issue, we've got lots of things, including the um, collective proof of a Merson, which is very rare, less than five nodes, um, to all the printing, the double, the, the center, double centers, inverted centers, without centers, um, and Perforation, very, very striking perforation uh, varieties, including on the two, fran the two francs Merson, which is extremely rare. It's actually the only piece I've ever seen in my life. The third catalog will be covering the, the Sauer issue, which is one of the most um, uh, collected stamp of France. Um, you've got the uh, Sommeuse Ligné, the Sommeuse Camé, as we say in French. And um, there, again, you've got all the varieties that exist, uh, including some of the rare booklets. Um, and the varieties will range from a price of 50 euros to thousands of euros. They are all very attractively priced and all visually extremely attractive. The fourth catalog, uh, it's a dedicated catalog to solely the tourist issue of 1929. So five stamps, we have a catalog where you will find all the, the, the rarities on the Arc de Triomphe, the Pont du Gard, La Rochelle, Reims, uh, with the perforation varieties, the various types, um, including probably the most iconic piece of the Pont du Gard, which is the perforated 11 uh, with the upper perforation missing, only five stamp nodes, and we have a pair of these, uh, among these five stamps. And also in that group, even though it's an unrecorded variety, um, we have probably um, one of the most striking varieties of France. It's the Mont Saint-Michel, 
with the uh, printing um, error, which make the stamp you know, as if it was in eruption. Absolutely striking varieties, and this one will, will, is estimated at 1,000 to 5,000 euros. The next catalog is probably the strongest of all. It's the airmail catalog. Um, we've got an amazing um, um, uh, group uh, around the, the plain over Marseille with all the proofs, essays leading to the uh, creation of a stamp. We have a fantastic um, uh, EPA 1930 perforation uh, combination series, you know, um, a lot of uh, rare stamps in that group. But the most amazing part of the airmail is the Ile de France. The Ile de France is one of the most exciting story in 1927, 1928. The Europeans wanted to bring the mail you know, faster to, to the States. And the idea came about to put a plane on the Ile de France paquebot and to catapult the plane one day before reaching New York. So for this very special service, there was a very hefty surcharge of 10 francs in the, um, in the franking requirement. And usually the Merson type was used. But on one, one journey, uh, the 10 francs, the high value stamps were missing, uh, were all sold out. And they decided when they reached New York to print, to overprint 10 francs on the Berthelot and Pasteur issues. These have, be have become very quickly, since the return of the boat, among the most iconic stamps of France and air mails in the world. We have many covers, dozens of covers. Um, we have all the varieties of the overprint, inverted, inverted with the one with a, a spaced overprint, and of course, amazing uh, covers, um, including the, the, two, the two stamps uh, together on the same cover, or block of fours on cover, uh, which are obviously uh, unique. So the Ile-de-France selection of the airmail catalog is absolutely mind-boggling, and I think it's impossible, it would be impossible today to um, build a similar collection. And the last catalog, last but not least, the sixth catalog, um, is what we call the gems of, uh, of philately uh, between 1930 and 1950, um, including all the big varieties, for example, the, uh, the uh, paquebot Pasteur without overprint, um, which is a, one of the biggest rarity of France. Uh, it has a catalog value of 75,000 euros extremely rare stamp, and the stamp we offer is in pristine conditions. Um, also, there is a lot of um, varieties in the 1941 overprint issues with the, the bars missing, the inverted numbers, the um, uh, inverted numbers, 05 instead of 50 overprints. The amount of research which went into this, uh, this issue is ab absolutely spectacular. So this auction will take place in London um, on 21, 21st and 22nd of November. Uh, it will be priced in euro, so all the collectors in Europe will be able to bid in their currency of reference. Um, the, viewing, the, the viewing will take place during the Paris show, the Salon d'Automne, from 8 to the 11th of November. We'll be viewing from 10 to 6 p.m. in a nearby hotel, the Hotel Ampere, every day uh, during the Salon. And then the viewing will, will continue to, um, to London. We expect to see you um, at the auction, or if, if you cannot, to send your bids or, or participate uh, with Spink Live uh, directly. If you like, French semi volume stamps, this is the most amazing auction coming to the market, and for sure there will be things for you if you collect that area. Thank you very much for your attention.